Hi there, I'm Daryl Williams from FandangleProductions.com and in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to provide the Windows environment variables so that you can use the command prompt. And what I'll do is here, now I use my command prompt quite a lot uh, with Python, uh, but you may not have the command prompt listed on uh, your search area here, your start area. So if you don't, in the search box type cmd and then you'll see the command prompt up here and you click that and then you can start the command prompt. Okay. Now if I type Python and I run it, it says Python is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. So we don't have the Windows environment variables set up which is the path to Python. Okay so I'll just close that and then what we need to do is we click the start button and then where computer is right click properties okay and then we go over here to advanced system settings click that now I got here a user account control it's asking uh, Windows needs permission to continue okay and so I'll click the continue button okay so now I have the system properties and then I go down here to the environment variables and then in this six section here, system variables, we'll just click down until we find path. And then we got highlight the path by clicking it, and then you click edit. And here is all the paths that relate to our Windows operating system. I'm using Vista, in case you didn't know. So I'm just scrolling to the end of the list. Okay. Now I have here a file that has all the paths that will direct uh, we're setting up the Windows environment variables for Python. First one goes directly to Python 2.7 the folder. Next one goes to Python 2.7 to the DL, L, DLLS uh, folder directory next one goes to Python 2.7 library LIB next one goes to Python 2.7 lib libtk so that's Tekinta to run Tekinta files and then you got Python 2.7 scripts the script directory and then you have here Python 2.7 lib site packages when you use pip that's where all the packages that you install using pip go. So just control C to copy that. Um, I'm at the end here. Control V to paste it. And I'll just use the right arrow key to check that that's correct. Okay, between each path there is a semicolon and then we go to the end of what I pasted there is no semicolon on the end okay so edit system variable we put the paths in there so we click OK now we're in the environment variables window and we've edited the system variables for the path now we click OK we're in the system properties window then you click OK and then here in the control panel system we'll close that and then what we'll do is once again if you don't have a command prompt showing here in the search box just type CMD you'll see CMD execute click that there is the command prompt now remember this didn't work last time so now we type Python hit enter and there we go you are now in the Python shell so if I go print 
hello world capital world exclamation mark hit enter and there we go print hello world so we're now in the Python shell so that's it that's the tutorial very easy to do so if you have any comments or any questions about this video or if you want to ask for a particular tutorial something you want to learn leave a comment I would love it okay I'm Daryl Williams from fandangleproductions.com till the next tutorial goodbye